chemicals. They play a role in everything we do, at home, at play, in business. Congress is working to reform America's chemical safety laws. Reform of the law is necessary and long overdue, but Congress must take a balanced approach that protects public health and the environmental well-being of our planet, while also preserving American jobs and innovation. We're going to find a whole range of uh, types of jobs at a chemical facility. I'm a safety and health manager for the Nomex business here at the Spruin site at DuPont. My day-to-day -day is to be a resource for safety and health and environmental issues. Well, I was Deputy Attorney General of Virginia and later served as the Secretary of Natural Resources for the Commonwealth of Virginia. Because I'm a stay-at-home mom, I don't have a nanny and I don't have a maid and, and I'm the cleaner of the household. There are five keys for good reform. We must be able to better determine and understand the impact of chemicals on the human body and our environment. I'm really concerned about what I use to clean my floors. My children are down on the floor, they're close to the floor, my pets are on the floor. So a product that is not toxic, that toys can be on and then go in mouths, um, became very important for me. Many state and local governments have their own chemical regulations and restrictions, but we need a national solution rather than a patchwork of consumer protection laws. The states have an important role and uh, as a state official, uh, I'm a very strong advocate for that role. Uh, but national consistency on a national program is also very, very important. We must encourage development of new green chemicals and protect our planet for generations to come. I do look for biodegradable. I do look for phosphate free. Um, I like to use things that have an organic base to them. I would be thrilled to have um, the majority of the products in my household green base. Consumers must be protected, and chemicals that pose the most potential safety risk to the public should be the highest priority for testing. Regulations that apply to us in the chemical industry are important to make sure that we safely make products and we safely import, export chemicals, etc. Uh, it's important also to have a balance for those regulations. So they shouldn't be too stringent or too lax. We need to find a good balance to make sure that we can also get product to our customers as well. Uh, consistency is essential. Uh, the, otherwise, the people don't know what the rules are from day to day and from time to time and from place to place, and that's intolerable. Finally, the Environmental Protection Agency should be granted the resources it needs to implement the new regulations. The whole uh, economy and our prosperity uh, depends on the safe and appropriate use of these chemicals. Working together, we can create chemical laws that adequately protect consumers while preserving American innovation and industry.